Right here we have a little small ambulance made by Ertl, uh, E-R-T-L, as you can see, here on the bottom. Fancy serial number two, I guess it makes it more special. I don't know, some kind of number and letters. Letters and numbers, I guess it makes it alphanumeric. Anyway, entirely plastic, uh, the entire ambulance, except for the, me the bottom, which is metal, which I found kind of odd that they would make that out of metal and everything else plastic. This had a uh, uh, nice, uh, horrible little light bar on the roof of it. It was a uh, little plastic thing right here. It is. Here's how fancy it was, uh, but kind of weak. So uh, let's put lights in it. Um, this here. Here's what this thing's worth. Okay, I can't break it. So anyway, no feet of strength uh, witnessed by the camera there. It was kind of weak. I just throw it in the garbage. The, uh, that was a big fail. The, uh, light bar, I just kind of constructed myself, uh, by using six rectangular LEDs. Uh, I have two reds on each side and two whites in the center. And, of course, being water clear LEDs, I went back and painted them with, uh, some red light bar paint. Um, so it kind of gives them more of a, uh, red lens look instead of just white LEDs or clear LED bodies. Uh, flashing headlights on this. Uh, red strobes, top corners, top corners there as well. Yellow strobe, slower flashing uh, red LEDs here, uh, steady reds uh, for the taillights, and of course uh, reds on the top corners here as well. A uh, piece of wire about 8 inches long, 10 inches, something like that. Uh, needed to be 6 inches for my customer's uh, train uh, power supply, but a little more is not going to hurt. So what we need to do here is wire for 15 volts, but we can run it with 9. So we shall run a wires to the 9 volts battery here, if I can get them stuck on there. And you can see the lights firing up already. Again, flashing headlights. I uh, can definitely detect the, even my camera picks it up. I say that it won't show up on YouTube anyway. Uh, the white LEDs in the center, along with uh, two reds on either side. All right. Uh, red strobes on the top. Red tail lights. Definitely see the red strobe and yellow strobe up top. And you can kind of see the. Actually, I don't I lie. I keep saying strobe. It's a yellow flash. And then uh, red flashings on the sides. Kind of break up the strobes a little bit. Adds to. Instead of more of a, less, less of a disco look versus a, a more realistic look. And of course, red strobes on the sides as well. Uh, driver, passenger side. Uh, well, these LEDs, I left them sticking out. Since it's a train layout, I left them sticking out just a little bit from the body. I could have shaved those down to where they were flush. Uh, I decided to leave them like that um, so you would get more of a viewing angle from it. If they were flush, you probably wouldn't see the lighting as well from the sides. Um, if you, to my customer, if you decide you want those shaved down, just let me know and I can shave those flush to the body of the ambulance. Uh, where they won't stick out. Like I said, being that this is going to be probably, you know, 10 to 15 feet away from uh, the edge of the train layout, as you said, uh, you won't notice those sticking out, plus that I had a little bit extra light uh, output for your uh, dial or your layout. So anyway, there you have it. I uh, appreciate the order. Again, uh, about a 164 scale model, all plastic. Still turned out pretty cool. Uh, again, with it being in the middle of a train layout, you're not going to notice it anyway, because they're going to look as decent as a lot of the stuff that comes with those uh, scale uh, train accessories. So anyway, there you have it. Appreciate the order, and we'll get this shipped out tomorrow. Thank you very much.